Hi everyone, in this video I am going to derive the expression for group velocity. In the previous video I have explained about the definitions of phase velocity and group velocity and also calculated the expression for mathematical expression for the phase velocity. Now in this video I will explain about the expression calculation for the group velocity. So from the definition of group velocity, group velocity is defined as the rate of change with respect to time that means the rate of change of the velocity with which the wave travels in the waveguide. So group velocity indicated by Vg. The group velocity indicated by Vg. See here. It is defined as the rate of change of velocity with which the wave travels in the waveguide okay so this is the definition of group velocity that is vg is equal to d omega by d beta so this is vg now whatever the calculation wherever we have started for the phase velocity i am also starting with the same expression we know that h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon and we also know that h square is also related to a square plus b square a square plus b square what is a and what is b a is nothing but n pi by b and b is nothing but m pi by a so if you write that n pi by b whole square plus m pi by a whole square. So this is equal to h square and this first term is also equal to h square. Equate these two. Then gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon is equal to m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square. Okay, so keep gamma on the left hand side, gamma square is equal to m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square minus omega square mu epsilon. Assume the attenuation constant alpha is equal to 0. Then the propagation constant is equal to, we know that it is alpha plus j beta, attenuation constant plus j into prop phase constant. So simply it is equal to j beta, gamma is equal to j beta. And yet cutoff frequency f equal to fc or we can write e omega equal to omega c. Whatever the propagation constant it is 0. At exactly cutoff frequency the propagation constant is equal to 0. So now substitute this in this equation. So 0 is equal to m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square minus it is omega c square mu epsilon. So omega c square mu epsilon is equal to m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square. So substitute this in that main equation, in this equation, then it is j beta whole square is equal to, gamma square is equal to, but gamma is nothing but alpha plus j beta. We have assumed attenuation constant is equal to 0, alpha equal to 0. So j beta whole square is equal to omega c square mu epsilon minus omega square mu epsilon it is equal to beta square equal to minus 1 will come minus will come and changes this order like this 
So now omega beta is equal to mu epsilon. <coughs> beta is equal to mu epsilon omega square minus omega c square and this entire factor is under root. So till now this equation expression calculation and uh, the phase velocity expression calculation is both are same. Okay. Uh, if you know this uh, expression beta is equal to square root of this one directly you can start from this expression otherwise you can do the same method what I have done. Now derivate or differentiate differentiate beta with respect to omega. So d beta by d omega. Omega is there in this or not? Omega is there. So we can differentiate this factor with <coughs> beta. So root x 1 by 2 root x into x coefficient 2. So 1 by 2 root mu epsilon omega square minus omega c square into omega we are, do, we are doing the differentiation with respect to omega. With respect to omega means this one. So, this factor will come. So, omega square is nothing but 2 omega. So, it is 2 omega mu epsilon. Okay. So, 2, 2 gets cancelled. And if you take this omega common in the denominator, it is equal to omega mu epsilon. Mu epsilon. If you take omega common, then 1 minus omega c by omega whole square. It is omega square under root. So, omega mu epsilon divided by omega root mu epsilon into root of 1 minus omega c by omega square. So, this omega omega cancel and uh, this um, mu omega mu epsilon will be cancelled in this root times. So, root mu epsilon here it will come divided by 1 minus what is omega c 2 pi fc? What is omega 2 pi f? So, we can just simply write of fc by f whole square this one under root. What is this root mu epsilon that is c? We know the velocity of speed of velocity of light. Okay. That is our velocity of the electromagnetic signal c is equal to 1 by mu epsilon under root. What is this? This is equal to d beta by d omega d beta by d omega so substitute this c value here then it becomes d beta by d omega is equal to 1 by c square root of 1 minus fc by f fc by f whole square in terms of <coughs> wavelength okay here we have written in terms of frequency in terms of wavelength lambda we can rewrite the expression as d beta by d omega is equal to 1 by c root over 1 minus this fc nothing but c by lambda c divided by c by lambda naught so lambda naught by lambda c it will come lambda naught by lambda c whole square since fc is equal to c by lambda c f is equal to c by lambda naught okay if you substitute these two in this equation you will get a lambda naught by lambda c whole square but what we need as per the definition of phase velocity sorry group velocity vg is equal to d omega by d beta 
we know from the definition of group velocity vg vg equal to d omega by d beta that means we can write it as just reciprocal of this one c by c into root 1 minus lambda not by lambda c whole square <coughs> vg okay so this is what the definition and calculation expression calculation for this group velocity and we know vp is equal to c by square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square here it is c into 1 minus c into square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square just if you multiply lambda uh, vp and vg so vp into vg is equal to vp what is vp c by 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square square root into c into square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda g uh, lambda naught by lambda c whole square okay both expressions are same but here the this factor square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square is in denominator in vp and it is in numerator in vg so if you multiply these two it is just it's a square of light velocity c square this is the product of vg and vp and this is the and uh, expression for vp and this is the expression for vg is equal to c into square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square this is the expression for group velocity vg sorry okay so hope you understand how to determine the expressions for group velocity and phase velocity thank you